Hello students, today we are going to read New Shoes by Susan Lynn Meyer and illustrated by Eric Veliquez. Um, when you look at the front cover of this book, what do you think about? What do you think the book will be about? Who do you think the main characters of this book are? Let's see. My cousin Charlotte hands me the package as we stand outside Johnson's shoes. If you could have any shoes in the window, I ask, which ones would you choose? Those, Charlotte says, pointing to the red sandals. What about you, Ella Mae? Today, I chose saddle shoes. They'd be just right for back to school. But I know full well it's just wishing. Money's too tight for new shoes. Have you ever stood outside a window, a shop window, and picked out shoes that you would like to get? When I get home, Mama opens the package. When those shoes are in good shape, she says, she hands them to my brother Clayton. That's the way we have, we always hand them down. When those shoes go to Clayton, Charlotte's shoes go to me. I clean Charlotte's old shoes, but when I put them on, they pinch my toes. I show mama. Mama sighs. <sighs> well, I'll, we'll just have to scrape together money for new shoes. Shoes I pick out myself? I can't believe it. On Saturday, we're going to the Johnsons. Where do you think they are at? On Saturday morning, we walk in. The bell jingles. Mr. Johnson looks our way. Behind us, the door jingles again. A girl with yellow curls walks in with her daddy. Mr. Johnson heads towards them. Mama and I walk to the back of the store and stand against the wall. The blonde haired girl tries on shoes, posing in the front mirror. I sigh, weren't we first? But I know colored people always have to wait. Finally, the girl's daddy buys the new pair of shoes and they leave. How can I help you now? Mr. Johnson says to us. I point to the display of saddle shoes. I want to try those on, sir. I say. I hear Mama sucking her breath. Oh, we'll do something different, Ella Mae, she says. We'll make a picture of your feet for Mr. Johnson. But, I start to say. Pencil and paper are over there, gal, Mr. Johnson says to Mama. Why do you think she has to draw a picture of her feet? Mama traces my feet, Mr. Johnson takes the paper and comes back with the pair of shoes. Mama holds the shoes next to me. Mr. Johnson fidgets. Yes, I think these will fit, Mama says, and she counts out the money. Do you guys see her face? I wonder why she feels that way, why her face is frowning.
Rain is pouring down when we leave. Mama snaps open her umbrella. Mama, I say, can't color folks try on shoes? Mama sighs. <sighs> no. Then she puts on a smile. Let's think about how nice your feet will look for school. I like my shoes, but it isn't fair that the other girl can try them on and I can't. Mama and I walk on together, listening to the rain. So Ella Mae was sad because she wasn't allowed to try on the shoes like the other girl was. Hmm. The next day in the schoolyard, I show Charlotte my shoes, but I tell her, then I tell her what happened at the Johnsons. Charlotte nods, that's happened to me too, she whispers. Even though I have new shoes, I feel bad most of the day. But then during spelling, I have an idea. I tell Charlotte as we walk home, Yes, she says, I'll help. Hmm, I wonder what Charlotte and Ella Mae are up to. Hmm. So Charlotte and I do chores. We scrub, we pick the last green beans, we mind babies. Most folks say they can't pay much. Never mind, I say. We'll work for a nickel and a pair of over outgrown shoes. Do does anybody know what outgrown means? It means shoes that are too big, I mean too small, and they can no longer fit them. Have you guys ever done chores? At the end of the month, we line up all the empty shoes, all the shoes on empty shelves in the old barn next to our house. Charlotte scoops up the coins. I'll go buy the polish, she says. I wonder what they're planning on doing with the new shoes they got. While she is gone, I clean the shoes with soft rags. Then I pull out all the dirty shoelaces. I wash them in lots of soapy water until the water squee and then no until the water squeezes them clean. I hang the laces on a clothesline line to dry in the sun. Charlotte comes running back. I call red, she says. She uses a nickel to pry open the red tin and I open the black tin. I take a pair of shoes and rub the polish in. Then I scrunch up my hand inside, smoothing out all of the wrinkles and buff the shoes until they shine. I wonder what Charlotte plans to do with that red polish do you guys what do you guys think the sun dries the laces now i thread them back through the holes charlotte holds up a shiny red mary jane she has been buffing almost as good as new she says probably you see the shiny new shoe The neighbors know we are ready to open even before the paint on our sign is dry. Ella Mae and Charlotte shoes, it says. Price, 10 cents, and another used pair. Miss Douglas peeps through the barn door, holding little Laura's hand. Right behind them, I see more neighbors coming. What do you think they're doing with the shoes? Look at this, Miss Douglas marvels. 
No need to go to the Johnsons now. Then she hesitates. Last time the shoes from the Johnsons gave my Laura blisters. She says, can I try these new? Try these on to see which ones fit best. Charlotte and I smile. We hold our hands up proud. Yes, ma'am, she can. I say loud and clear. In our store, anyone who walks in the door can try on all the shoes they want. The end. So after reading this story, we find out that LMA's shoes are too small. And the shoes that her cousin has given her, Charlotte, they don't fit anymore. They don't fit. So mom has to get some money and they go pick out new shoes. But when they get to the store, Mr. Johnson will not allow her to try them on because she is African-American. And this makes Ella Mae sad. She tells Charlotte the next day at school when she gets her new shoes and they think of a plan. And their plan was to get old shoes, to do chores and get old shoes from local neighbors and then throughout the neighborhood and polish them up and clean them up to resell them for 10 cents to kids who didn't have shoes. And um, what I think the author wants us to get out of this is that we should all be treated equally.